guys, gals, and NB pals, I'm your host, Comrade Siren, and welcome back to PEA. Um, today we have um, some special guests. We'll get back to that in a bit. Um, today's topics are life, identity, and acceptance, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to PEA. Like I said, I'm your host, Comrade Siren, and this is our third episode, and today we are joined by two members of one of the greatest bands of all time, uh, Partial Discussion. Uh, you guys can <laughs> you guys can introduce yourself. I'm just kidding, folks. It's Total Massacre. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Captain uh, No Fun. And I'm Jeff Massacre. Tell, tell us a little bit about your, yourselves before we begin. Well, I'm the guy who kind of screams and writes most of the lyrics. Uh, uh, I, I mean, that's kind of all that's kind of germane to the band. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Jeff, uh, how would you describe yourself? Um, well, I, I, I play the bass. Um, I um, do a little bit of mixing now and then, do a little bit of mastering. Um, By a little bit, he needs all of it, I should <laughs> point out. But, very yeah. talented. Well, <laughs> um, Both he I, and I, pronouns, I'm assuming. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She, her, for me. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool, cool. And um, why don't we get into the first topic, um, which is life. So, uh, how do you guys feel about life and coming to terms with what you, your life is and what you think about the I, I in general? It's feel, hard and shit. Feel free to ramble. It's hard. Oh, I, I will. It's hard. It's hard for us. But I think it's, it can be better maybe someday. I don't want to overpromise things to people, but... That would be me explaining it without without over getting into it super deep. I'm sure we will at some point. Yeah, yeah. That's my twenty the, minutes roughly in a topics. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, but we can do it. Definitely. I mean, like, if if you really think about things, if you put your mind to something and you really want to do that something, um, you do it, it makes your life like ten times better. Totally. And, like, with life in general, like, in today's, like, society, I'm going to stick more general to America because we are, like, living basically under late-stage capitalism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we have lots to worry about in life. Yeah. That's in keeping with the hard thing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Have anything to say about that, Jeff? <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, Jim's not wrong. Life is hard. Um, but um, I, I personally try to to take time. You know, I don't know if it's a daily thing and I don't necessarily know, think that it's a conscious decision, but I try to find the beauty in it. And um, because even though it is hard and people are fucked, man, people are so fucked in this world. Um, you know what? You know, when you're walking your dog around the block and the air is fresh and the, the breeze is not, you know, it's like you got to take those moments and go, this is actually okay at the moment. And, yeah, yeah. you take, know, you take, take a deep breath and, and, and just and focus embrace. in on yourself yeah, and your surroundings. Yeah. And, yeah. Amen totally. to that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some good, like, um, it would work for, like, some self-help uh, <laughs> stuff. Like, just, just going outside and just breathing in that like um the the polluted air you know from from the factory <laughs> <laughs> but total but, master is nothing if not a self-help uh focus you know that's really what we're all about here definitely. You know? yeah definitely <laughs> help yourself by smashing capitalism that's the I, and you know what's funny is like i get that i get that kind of um 
those, those moments of beauty and joy, not beauty necessarily, maybe that's not the right word, but, um, you know, when we're rehearsing as a band and we come up with a song and it really works, it's just like, man, there, it's just so gratifying. It just feels, even though there's, you know, we're not a big band <laughs> and our, our, our word doesn't go, you know, you know, our word doesn't spread across the land like I would want it to, but um, it's still just that it's just like a cathartic, really just such a great thing, man. If, if, if anyone um, listening, you know, is thinking about starting a band, just do it because it's so worth it. It's so fun. 100%. Speaking of that, like, um, being in a band, it does sound fun. And I was once, but like nobody else practiced except for me. And so like, I was the only I was the only one taking it serious. That's that's a little page out of my uh, life, you know. Yeah. But I yeah, that, I that, do that's, I do that's write fun. a few like ditties there and there sometimes. I mean they're, they're not on like um par with uh with Beethoven or <laughs> <laughs> or or um i don't think anyone here, I, don't, I don't think anyone on this uh, podcast is gonna hold to their know. standards sorry yeah. <laughs> right. like i say if it, in life and like expressing yourself is a part of life um but in life like if if you want to write something or do something like i said before do it and it would be Ten times better for your mental space if you go out and do that thing. Like writing songs for me, it's an art form, and I I release some of my pent up emotions into my like some of my songs. Like it, it really is a good release. Like who cares if um, somebody likes your music? I mean, it's a plus side if they do. But you're, I'm well. I would say I'm initially. I'm initially doing it for myself and the gratification I get afterwards when I listen to one of my songs and I might get like chills or something. Yeah, totally. No, I like, um, I, I only want to speak for, for me, but like, for me, it's, it is like sort of almost like a freaking compulsion, you know, to make stuff, um, you know, that I think is important. And I remember I had a teacher once who said something that always has stuck with me. And he said that, that if you're only doing stuff like, you know, to make a buck or like, because it like, because it like, it seems like fucking cool or fucking like, you know, you know, like, whatever, you know, right. Uh, you, you are going to always like fucking be, be on like the, uh, well, like the way I put it, I guess is you, you aren't ever feeling like you're know, going to measure up to someone who's fucking doing it because feeling like you know because feeling like you know, they absolute because feeling like they absolutely fucking have to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, shit, dude. I mean, like, you know, if it's something that you like, kind of got to do, then yeah, you should fucking do it, man. Because it's like that's that's your shit. That's you, <laughs> you know. Get it into the world, you know. You always got to stick your foot in the door somehow. And I mean, yeah, even if it doesn't get do like it. much notice, I mean, like you notice it. Yeah. And, and it yeah. can be difficult putting yourself out there like that, you know, I mean, oh, it's, dude, it's hell like yeah. being, you it's, know, it's being an artist is difficult. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. it's like, it, it's like, you know, it, you know, not literally physically taking your clothes off but in a way you're getting naked in front of people and it's dude, like dude like, i feel fucking vulnerable as hell every I mean, time like, i go out there i, mean, like, I, mean, I in love the case it of it's like, also like kind of freeing but yeah it's it's intense in the case it, of like blink 182 i mean like it's it's like <laughs> what you said jeff is like like <laughs> taking off your clothes <laughs> yeah it's wow I was just making a little joke there. I, 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 dude, I think the last people or the last thing anyone wants is us getting getting undressed on stage. We're too old for I, that shit. I, no, I mean I think the police would come after us pretty quickly if we took our clothes off on stage. Censorship, man, we're being censored. Nothing but socks. <laughs> oh fuck, the hot chili pepper style. Yeah, no, they played that. They played that hand already. I, I can't go there. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with a captain's hat and a yeah, and a yeah full, nothing but hats. And then a full <laughs> outfit. No, a full like fully clothed, please. I yeah, yeah. I've that got enough be. issues with my with my self esteem without uh, throwing my 
whole body out there. <laughs> your, your hat is very iconic, by the way. Thank you. I I like ve- I was like so fucking close to getting like a tropical version of it like over the summer, mm-hmm. and God, I don't know why I didn't. I should have. It would have been fucking funny as hell. <laughs> But and maybe I'll get it someday. This Almost get different get it, themed now captain like, hats for like every single month. I dude, oh that would be epic. Yeah, but open I don't, your, that's, open your that's closet a, and it's like a small walk-in of hats. <laughs> something like maybe if the band fund had the money for that, I would. But I don't think it. I don't think it does. We gotta we gotta Jim, set money aside for the next record. Jim, we're gonna turn you into the Imelda Marcos of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of sailor caps <laughs> fuck yeah i love that reference too it's like <laughs> fuck yes that's I great i gotta say like right off the bat i love having you guys on you guys have like a good presence here <laughs> oh so, well thank you thank you we, thank you yeah try to uh to approach these things honestly and you know yeah, give ourselves yeah, over yeah. fully to the process you know Totally. Like good leftists that we are. <laughs> but like on the topic of life, um, where where do you guys think um you're seeing yourselves in the future? Or like from a perspective of way back then, where do you think you give me a second? <laughs> where do you think you would see yourself if you were a kid? Back then, way oh. back then. God. I don't know, man. I'm so shitty at like looking to the to the future. Like, I don't know. I uh, I've been married seven, almost seven years now. I don't know that that was ever in the cards. But then I met like most wonderful fucking woman, and I married her. You know, thankfully. So like, God, I don't know, man. <laughs> Shit. I, what? Um, I don't know. Jeff, you're yeah. you're older and wiser than I am. Do you have any thoughts? First of all, Jim, fuck off. Um, <laughs> uh, um, no, but you know what? It's funny. This is wiser. <laughs> well, that, thank you. Uh, I don't know that that's true, but um, you know, when I was a kid, I I really had a hard time. Like people would ask me what I wanted to do when I grew up, and I I I never really could come up with a good answer. And I sort of, I sort of always envisioned myself um, kind of, you know, following in my dad's footsteps. And that was just going to work for a company and being like, he was in HR forever and, um, you know, doing that kind of thing and wearing a suit and like, and then I went to work with him a couple of times and I'm like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, this flows. Like, you know? I would imagine like, like, you know one thing I don't want for myself, and that's, like, working at an office, where, like, working at a job that requires me to wear a suit or, like, right. a dress or whatever. Thanks a lot, like, Byron. You know, like, Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you for shitting on my chosen career, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but personally, it's not uh, for no, me, I'm you know? Completely, I'm completely yeah. fucking with you. No, you're you're absolutely right to not want that for yourself. It's, 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 I mean, it's fucking like, ludicrous. On... On the on like in the minds of like in general, like a lot of them seem to be depressed these days, and I mean like it's kind of sad because like they have everything to look forward to, basically anything to look forward to. I mean, as long as they're not looking forward to the rainforest, yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, <everyone>. yeah. I <laughs> mean, that, like yeah, but I mean like no zone. Like in general, like besides um, <laughs> worldly destruction by uh, <laughs> elemental means. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But but yeah, I mean, like that is yeah. true. I mean, like what are what are we as humanity leaving behind for and leaving behind for the future of people on the planet? And I tell you one thing: it's barely anything at all. <laughs> maybe yeah, just the like, desert you know like who knows i mean like you did uh, the thing you brought up did actually kind of freaking remind me that i do have a good answer to your question of like freaking where i saw myself because i went uh, to school i'm initially to be an artist i've got a bachelor's in fine arts because i'm a fucking idiot and i thought that i could make a living not uh, sitting in a cubicle uh, with a tie on 
And then, you know, uh, 15 or 20 years from later, it turns out that's how I make my living is I was fucking sitting in a cubicle with a tie on uh, typing into spreadsheets. But the thing that was unexpected was that I actually really like my job. Like, weirdly, it's actually a good job, and I'm doing, doing a good uh, thing with all my fucking spreadsheets. Your, your um, Microsoft Word, uh, Word skills must be at, like, an all-time yeah, high. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, so, the, so, so while, like, there's definitely a part of me that's, like, there's, uh, there's I think, a rightful kind of fucking, like, you know, anger that, like, man, uh, the world, I really kind of stuck one fucking to me, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's also, like, you know... You know, to get back, like you know, to you know, to the beauty and kind of like you know, the unexpected, it sort of worked out. Like I don't hate things as much as I certainly could. I've been in way worse like kind of positions in my life than I am than I am than I am now. I know a lot of people who have it a lot harder than I do. I don't want to fucking like undersell, you know, uh, the uh, the life that a lot, that a lot of people like you know fucking live. And I don't want to fucking a lot like, of people oversell mine, but yeah, like, like it actually worked out like in an okay way so you know you never know a siren it could work out yeah you know it's just you know you have to put yourself out there and see Um, what i was going to say is um on what you were talking about uh which totally it totally slipped my mind but i will say something else um when i was a kid i didn't really know what going to be in the future even Mm -hmm. at age 12 i didn't know i would be alive into age 20 like totally i'm one right now and like who who knew i like even myself at like a young age like like i knew that something was always kind of off about me and i kind of just suppressed the feelings of offness i had and it didn't really work out that well like like i i ended up coming out and that was like one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. At the same time, it takes a lot of opportunities away from me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, fucking, I could imagine. I'm mean, like, I'm not gonna say that being trans is a death sentence, but I will say that it's more like you're put into a like a societal cage. And they're holding you there because they don't even know what to do with you. Even though nowadays it's kind of more accepted, but like still, there's that stigma. Oh sure, I mean, you know, baby steps, I guess. Like maybe we're getting there, but no, no doubt it's going to be hard. I'm sure of that. I mean, I don't think anyone would argue that. No doubt. I mean, just I mean, I, I just I think about like how just normal, uh, I, don't, I don't mean to use the word normal, but just r- uh, run-of-the-mill, just a gay person 20 years ago, how they were viewed by society compared to today. Yeah. You know, the, it, it's come a long way. Sure. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, so, uh, so I, I, I would imagine that the, the trans world, you know, the world, you know, that surrounds tra- the trans community will grow and, and develop and hopefully become more accepting and tolerant and loving and all it, of that. It, it does take time for all that stuff to happen. I mean, like, you have to wait 20 years for, even longer for that, for, like, um, for, like, gay people to be accepted in society. Mm-hmm. I mean, even though, um, like, people of, um, the LGBT, uh, LGBTQIA umbrella, like, we've been around for centuries. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then. And yet, it's like, all, all of a sudden, it's this new thing where, like, people, people think it existed. I think on the most part, it's from, um... From how, uh, I think it started in the Middle Ages. Like, with the Catholic Church and all that stuff, viewing things as sins. Hmm. 
Yeah. Religion definitely had a lot to do with <laughs> yeah. the, uh, yeah. the squelching of, of, you know, people's expression. And um, on, on the topic of um, expression, uh, why don't we talk a little bit about identity? Mm, cool. Um, like, how, how do you guys... Um, how do you guys view yourselves? Like, how do you identify yourselves, and what are the things that make you you? Well, that's not a big question. <laughs> that's simple. Jeff, that why don't you go very, first? Very simple. I'm going to volunteer you because I mean, like I said, you're so wise. You know, I mean, I've been, I, I've, I've been married for how long? I've been married for uh, fuck. <laughs> 25 years. That's awesome. Um, I have two kids, um, and I sort of always viewed myself as just kind of a normal, average person. But um, but I've also really, in in many ways, felt like I just don't fit in. You know, like I like there's yeah, dudes definitely. on my street that just they'll stand out in their front yard and they'll talk about the fucking engine in their car or whatever the fuck they're talking about. And I just, I don't have any interest in like going to hang out with those guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't I, so hear somebody you know, talk about a muffler for like four hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, to answer your question, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I definitely have felt like I, I definitely identify as male, he, him, you know, but um, I also am not, I'm not the same as a lot of the other he hymns around, you know, I'm just, I'm just different. And, and I think that, uh, I think that I actually just finished a a book um, called, um, uh, uh, what was it? What the fuck was that book? (laughs) The transgender teen. Um, There you go. Book recommendation uh, for this episode. Yes, definitely read it. Um, Nice. Because it talked a lot about, you know, how, trans people have been around forever and but it, but one of the most important takeaways for me was that that gender is a spectrum it's not it's it gender is not binary it is, it is on a spectrum i mean people might identify as he him or she her but it's there there's so many in between yeah, there, there's so many aspects all. to somebody and their identity and even on that, um, even on that uh, gender, um, I I would say uh, it you know like you no know, it's a spectrum, but I would say like um, that gender rainbow. I get a little bit more flair. Um, there is many ways to express yourselves, even if you are a guy or a girl or um, a non-binary person or anybody else in you know. Like there, there's many ways you can be yourself. Definitely, totally, definitely, and like and the most and, important and, thing is to love doing it. <clears throat> right. And I don't feel at all bad about not hanging out and being one of those guys. You know what I mean? Like down the street, I I don't I don't need that. I just. Like I, I have the love of my family. I, I'm in a band with, with, you know, four people that are pretty very like-minded in very many ways. I don't, I don't we don't disagree on a lot of things. Oh, no, um, you know, like you know, and like, like I think it should be pointed out that it's kind of amazing that we have such a connection, given that we all have super super freaking like you know, different experiences i think in a lot of ways you know yeah. Ooh, everybody's you know, life is different between the four of us but everybody's experience uh, with being themselves is different too right totally very much so um i don't want to go too in depth about this but jeff i i've heard through the grapevine that you have somebody very close in your life who came out as trans um yeah. Congratulations to them. Thank you. Yeah. And she's in the room next door. I don't want her to think I'm talking about her. So <laughs> I don't want to talk too loud. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, she's, you know, uh, in, in many ways, there, there's like, um, 
uh, you know, like the like like a, a horse that had blinders on and the blinders are taken off or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. um, there's a certain amount of of growth that I, in certain ways I didn't expect to see, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you're still my beautiful child, but you are just expressing yourself in a way that I never envisioned. And, and it's great. It's actually, you know, it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's had its challenges emotionally where our family's different now, you know, and we've had to make adjustments and things. Um, but, um, it's, it, it is, it is more of a, of a celebration than, than, I don't know, what, what would it be? Besides a burden or whatever, but besides the main part of like, um, transitioning, there, there is that, there is that transition with your family and your friends where um, they're just kind of getting used to things and accepting things. And mm-hmm. we'll talk a little bit more about acceptance later, but, um, but for now, um, we're still on the topic of identity. Um, but uh, I really want to hear what uh, Captain has to say. Oh God, you know I. <laughs> It's it's I don't I don't know that I have a good answer for this because I don't know that I'm interest. Well, no, I'd like like I shouldn't say that I'm not fucking like introspective about that thing. Like like sucks. I overthink everything. That's yeah. who I am. So that's that's how I identify same, as an overthinker. Same. That's how I <laughs> identify. Someone who thinks way too fucking much about every fucking thing. Um, I mean, like my wife gives me a hard at time about how I'm a kind of fucking a hyper fucking masculine. So. So I think like, you know, that part is like, you know, kind of settled. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I identify as like, like a kind of human being who would want it to be in front of connection, uh, you know, with everyone else, you know? And I think that's yeah. what I, what I want is like, you know, like, it's like what I want to identify as a part of a community, you know? Yeah. And, you know, and like, you know, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of fucking like, you know, there's a lot of like different sides, like when you know, sides like the communities, obviously, you know, and I'm like super, super kind of blessed, you know, you know, I'm to be a part of like of some of the ones that I'm a part of, you know, like kind of punks in LA, um, you know, is you know, like it's one, you know, um, I have a wonderful, like a wonderful, like you know, like kind of family, uh, you know, that's another, um, you know, um. You know, and for like, you know, the human race that I want to see like fucking flower into more than than like like grist for the mills of like fucking capital would be the, you know, the other one that, mm-hmm. you know, but yeah, I think that's how I see fucking in myself is like it's fucking part of a, a part of a fucking a part of a whole. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like the one of the ways I want to like identify myself is kind of like first of all i want to identify myself as a strong woman second off Mm -hmm. i want to be somebody who's able to make connections with people and able to um make friends and i mean that's something i'm not really good at but at least i try like every single day dude that's all you can do it's all you can do making connections with people it's so special, even if it's, like, the most mundane thing ever. Like, everybody wants to feel connected to somebody somehow. Everybody wants to be a part of something. Absolutely. You know, like, one of the things that I think is cool that that I don't think gets expressed enough is that you can very easily like, pick and choose, like, the parts of, like, the parts of fucking like you know like identity and fucking culture and shit that that are important to you and for like you know and for like you know and and for like you know the parts for like you know, that aren't you know yeah. because like you know a Jeff Jeff and I neither of us fucking give a shit about fucking talking about our cars you know yeah. but like but like fucking uh, but I can guarantee that like we can sit and fucking talk about our fucking Dodgers for for a pretty good fucking amount of time. I wouldn't be you know? able to do that. Like, because, sports like, well, is something I'm not That's okay, <laughs> but, no, no, like, I understand it, but, like, but, like, you know, like, so, for like, you know, the parts of the, the parts of, like, the broader, for, like, your masculine fucking shit, like, whatever it is, you know, for, like, you know, like, for, like, you know, the parts of it that, that I think are fucking, like, whatever, like, you know, 
those I can ignore. Uh, you know, the parts of it I like, I can keep, you know, and, yeah. you know, and that's okay. And like, no one can stop you from doing that, you know? And I, you know, and I think fucking, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of like, you know, like kind of power in that, uh, that, you know, that isn't kind of taken advantage of. So yes, yeah, but I, so fucking I take fucking like whatever you want from wherever and use it. So I like make it yours. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, if watching baseball doesn't make you happy. Then by all means don't. <laughs> yeah. I mean like you know? my identity, I mean like, and I mean like it is kind of, um, kind of like you know you said gender is a spectrum like with me like even though I, d- I identify as a woman um I, I i am kind of tomboyish and do have some um masculine things that i am into like hobby wise and like just in general but i mean that's like, great uh, yeah like definitely and i mean like on top of that like there there's so many things that make me me like i i try to be funny and sometimes it just ends up being really cringy but that's that's the fun part you know like yeah. the other reactions is, to me is yeah. pretty, it's pretty fun <laughs> totally i mean i think the other thing too is that so many things in our world are like gendered for no fucking reason whatsoever oh, and yeah. like you can just like ignore that shit. Like, who gives a fuck if like you know baseball is considered like masculine or if cars are considered masculine? Like fucking like for example, like fucking my uh uh so like fucking like so like for like my like, wife, uh, nobody would ever would ever accuse her. I don't think of like being particularly like, masculine. She is way more of a fucking gearhead, like about cars, than I will ever be in my entire life. Now that's pretty badass. And that's really, <laughs> that's just like fucking like how she is, you know. That's that's like just like what, like what interests her. But like you know, then also fucking as so does uh, so does like she's fucking uh, she's like fucking super super attuned into drag because like fucking like if she finds it like an interesting like you know you know, you know like an interesting form of art, you know. And there's you know I mean like to me. Uh, there isn't a contradiction there. I am sure fucking a certain of people like, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, like I could fucking see one, but I don't, I don't give a shit. Like, you know, it's fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, whatever. Speaking of drag, I, I seen my first drag show like a few weeks ago. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. freaking great. Nice. How was it like being in a, um, in like a club or whatever? Well, was it like in, in, in my that? small town? There's there, I would say that there is an LGBT community, but it's not massive. And I would say that in total, it would only like be around like twenty people, if if I mm-hmm. ever choose, or maybe even more. But um, but having a having a gay bar in my small town, like right across from the police station, as a big fu is pretty cool <laughs> that kind of um, rules actually yeah but but like being there inside a place where i can kind of be free to be myself even in this small town where i'm afraid to even go outside most of the time it, it's pretty fucking like freeing and it's, that's great it's amazing that's really yeah. fucking cool yeah it's got to be refreshing Though I'm not much of a clubber because I don't really drink, um, it is mm. fun to be in a space like that. That's dope. Identity aside, making, making yourself a presence and um, going out and acting on your presence because, you know, your presence is you. Um having that presence and going out and exploring your options with yourself or others or even different situations that you've never been a part of it's pretty fucking neat um and sometimes i get a little rambly and i forget That's what okay. i'm talking about 
exploring yourself is very important and very, very awesome. <laughs> it is. <laughs> little, it is actually little quotation marks. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, I think that's I, I, yeah, I yeah, like I would I would uh I would co-sign that. It's it's the little things that you put out that matter. Even in like the grand scale of m- most things like life included. It oh, it, it all matters. What what my point is is everything matters. Well, yeah, it does. That's true. <laughs> it does. But maybe not that much yeah. in the in the grand scheme of us being on a tiny speck in yeah. a vast, uncaring but universe. I mean, like, but it does. No, you're right. Socially, sure. everything matters. Totally. Totally. Thanks for bringing me down, Jim. That's what I – there's a <laughs> – I didn't get named Captain No Fun by fucking. Yeah, accident. yeah, definitely. I mean, he's, defi- he's definitely. I'm here for. He's definitely. I've got a, I've got a um, brand. Exerting I've got no a brand fun. I've got to live up to. Right. <laughs> you can count on me to bring the, bring the no fun. Yeah, man. Speaking of what you put into the world being important, you know. Yeah. Um, Just being me, I'm expressing my truth, Jeff. <laughs> I got, I got no beef with that. Express your truths. Express <laughs> yourself. You going with the OG or or the N, uh, NWA? Uh, I go, I go with fucking, I go, I go with fucking. I'm NWA because mm-hmm. LA. But baseline is super fun to fucking play. Oh, uh, well. So part of why I go with. Part of why I go with that is because I played probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of Tony Hawk, a pro skater. I think it was in four. <laughs> uh, so that song is just indelibly fully etched on my fucking brain. It isn't fucking because I'm like, I'm fucking like a super like fucking smart about like fucking like, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, like fucking like 90s, like fucking hit, you know, like, you know, uh, you know, super awesome fucking 90s, like, you know, like fucking hip hop. It's just that I played a shit. Uh, absolute shit ton of tony hawk uh, four in, in college and it's just burnt into my brain those lyrics if your music taste ain't tony hawk's pro skater i want nothing to do with you <laughs> i okay well i agree with that i agree with that sentiment yes um, hell yeah we can yeah, that's also, easy um we mentioned that uh jeff was a big part of that right Mixing and mastering some of the. Um, well, no, I mean, I think what happened was back in the day when uh, we uh, Epitaph had, um, uh, you know, we had contributed a lot of music to like um, skate videos and things like that, to th- specifically to like Thrasher videos um, back in oh, the day, yeah. and then then when Hell yeah. video games kind of came into play. Um, Epitaph sort of kept that thing going and you know what I think we might have even given those songs to, to Tony Hawk games for free um, because that was kind of our MO back then is like we would just let let these all these skate videos put songs on there for free that's um, amazing we may not have gotten paid for that shit but I don't know I could be wrong I don't know yeah, well, either way man that is a hell of a way to get fucking punk out there to, yeah. to bring up people I mean Work for work for me for sure. <laughs> I'm sure that had an effect on me. Also, um, Captain, you were you were also talking about um how, and I I kind of got off track when I was about to mention something about it. Is everybody's life and identity comes from different steps, and not everybody's as privileged to have um a decent life as totally. most people. You know, like sure. Um. But yeah, that's 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 the thing. Like, um, the steps that you take to get where you are now is a big part of um, who you are today, as in your identity. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You know, I'm. I'm yeah. I mean, I don't. That's one of those like big, big, like freaking heady questions. Like fucking, you know, like fucking, who are we? But I mean. Are, I mean, we're like, like, you know, the choices, you know, that we make, right? And like the reaction, you know, to the to the world around us. I mean, definitely. You know, that's about as fucking. That's about as fucking concrete of a 
like that is a concrete of a way so you can fucking like you know define those like like you know, those abstractions you know yeah but um moving on from identity you know we mm-hmm. we have the topic of acceptance um you know accepting yourself accepting others um accepting things that might come in life uh but yeah do you guys have anything to say on that um jeff captain uh you guys can go ahead and uh, ramble uh <laughs> <laughs> i'm great at that but i think i'm gonna let uh, jeff uh, ramble first is that cool yeah yeah definitely <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, I think um, if if I recall from from last time, I was I had I had I had mentioned that. Um, oh, I'm gonna cut you off. I, I was. By the way, um, I'll be honest with the listeners. Uh, when when I uh, went to record the first time, not all of it got recorded. So this is the last segment, and we are simply re-recording. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'm, no I'm, secrets. I'm, Secrets, full, uh, full, I'm honest. <laughs> full hell yeah. yeah full so disclosure. is total massacre. It's perfect. Um, and, and, you know, I th- one of the things that that um, came to my mind about acceptance um, is 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 I'm having a hard time accepting people who um, are unaccepting of people yeah, <laughs> you know um the tolerance I'm just, paradox basically the tolerant right exactly um mm-hmm. yeah because um i have certain family members um that um aren't super open and uh actually one of them got real offended when i i didn't quite call him a bigot <laughs> yeah you, uh you insinuated <laughs> I well, I might have used the word bigot, but I wasn't exactly talking about him, although I sort of was bigot um, by association. <laughs> yes, very much so. And and, and, <laughs> and it was associated closely enough that he got the picture because he's like, well, you know, when you use the word bigot, it's sort of like a slap in the face. I'm like, well, maybe you need to be slapped in the face. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, wake up. You know, get out of your reverie whatever the fuck your dream world is because uh you know shit's changing <laughs> the world yeah, the world yeah. is a new the world is a different place than than when we were kids and uh you know you gotta evolve or die <laughs> yeah. and uh so that's you know anyway i i'm still having a hard time you know i actually had a conversation with that particular family member the other day and um i'm i'm still having a hard time with it even though you know the conversation ended well and it was like you know i love you but you know (laughs) uh so i'm still having a bit of a hard time with it and 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 i guess i shouldn't i shouldn't have to worry about it right i mean i shouldn't i shouldn't accept that i shouldn't not accept him as a human being or as a as a person or whatever but um i can't accept his uh dismissal i guess you could say uh it's not even a dismissal he's just uh oh god what a dick <laughs> <laughs> it is um, hard to accept the dicks out there That's it's hard to fair assessment it's just really that's hard fair. to you know so anyway that's that's where my head's at you know in terms of um um accepting um my my daughter as as being a a transgendered human like that i have full acceptance and love and um uh admiration for her bravery in coming out and um and it's just uh it's a joy you know to see her grow and evolve um although you know i i do foresee difficulties in her future just because it's a fucked world out there yeah um and, and that's I mean, part like, of the reason i have worked on accepting the, the unacceptors you even like around here um like i i feel like i get looked at for being different mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like i think i think i mentioned this um before but you know being trans feels like um kind of like a death sentence you know Um, because 
you never know how people are going to react and treat you if they find out. Like, it's like a big secret, but like, for once, I'm, I'm not really a passing individual, at least from my standpoint. So, I mean, it will, like, I feel like it will arise complications in the future if I do go out into the world and explore mm-hmm. a little bit more, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, since I am who I am, I can't even go visit certain countries that, you know, seem interesting, you know? <laughs> like, no, that's right? True, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, as as much as you want to be open, you kind of, you have to really be careful, right? I mean, yeah. you, even in this country, you know, you just because you know, you never know if you're gonna come across the 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 wrong person who's just um violently unaccepting, yeah. and that's that's kind of a scary thought. And I mean, your your daughter absolutely has bravery for coming out. And there's like yeah. no question about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, without a doubt. And it's so wonderful that you're able to accept her for the way you are. Well, the way she is, I meant to say. Um, <laughs> like that that's a beautiful, wholesome thing, you know? Yeah. Like like being a parent you kind of have to help somebody um, understand the world. Then later on down the road, you have to help them um, find their place in it, you know? Yeah. And yeah. I, I can see that being like a really like hard thing to do, but it's also very endearing in the way some people do it, you know? Yeah. Acceptance for who I am, it did take a lot of introspection to um, realize who I am, like, truly, and actually be myself instead of playing some character of myself. Mm -hmm. That wasn't Mm -hmm. really me to begin with, you know? Oh, yeah, I can imagine. I'm lucky I had a family to who um, accepted me for who I am. And, I mean, like, even my... Even, um... Like, my dad's parents, for instance, which are, like, you know, like, country folk, you know? Like, and, like, they were born in, like, the 30s or something. (laughs) And they accepted me. And they had a Trump sign in the yard, you know? Like, I was surprised. Wow. um, I guess, in a way, I am their granddaughter, and I guess they're lucky to have me around. I mean, like, they, they know of, like, my my um past doings like um like my depression and my anxiety and they um, came to even see me during my hospitalization and all that stuff you know like in in a way i am lucky to have them in my life yeah for sure (laughs) in a way my, my my grandfather did um kind of spur my passion for music because he's He's a bluegrass feller, you know? <laughs> oh, that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I was awesome. Like, I, like, Does he talk like an old prospector? Uh, no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> One cool thing about him is that he always carries cough drops, and I swear these cough drops are like the best cough drops ever. <laughs> <laughs> that is about, like, like such a grandfather thing, but it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it, it is. Cool. And like it rocks. And, and other than um acceptance for my identity, accepting life for me is really hard per se because like, there like the way I am right now, I don't feel like I have much going for me. And I mean it doesn't help that I don't have a job or like I, I barely have any friends IRL, you know, like around me in this area. So I don't mm-hmm. get out much. I'm, I'm a hermit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can be that can be very difficult. Obviously, yeah. I don't need to tell you that. Yeah, it, um, it's yeah. very. Difficult. I'm sure COVID didn't help either. Yeah, COVID mm-hmm. didn't help. I was planning on getting a job, and like, like I have like asthma. You know, like mm-hmm. it spurs on really bad sometimes. So yeah, I don't you got to be super so. safe. Yeah. No, dude, I absolutely get it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. I really think that this this podcast that you do is 
tremendously valuable. I, I hope you see that. Um, I mean, like, because not many people get to talk down and talk about um their ideas on a certain subject or just in general you know um yeah it it is really cool and i do recognize the value of like me doing this like this is like my my brain child you know (laughs) that's cool (laughs) yeah i mean you know I, I hope that you don't, because it, it it does seem like so much of our society, especially because we do live in a capitalist society. Yeah. They put so much value on, you know, your 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 state of employment or or the, your level of income, especially your level of income. I, you know. Yeah. I think that's capitalist culture. Yeah. To begin with, because you know, when you meet somebody, one of the first things they might ask you is. Huh, what do you do? You know? What do you do? Yeah. Right. Like, ask me, um, how was my day? And, like, you know, like yeah. other questions. Like, I, people spend like, <laughs> like, hours or more in work. Yeah. Like, nobody <laughs> wants to talk about what they do, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you should. If if someone asks you what you should you do, this you should be proud of this. You should definitely yeah. talk about this. Yeah, I, 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 I would anyway. Yeah, this is work, by the way. This is labor. You're you're doing something. You should, you should be proud of it. I don't get paid for it. You know, like who cares? It is fun to That's do. And so I, you aren't being exploited for some asshole yeah. to make money off of. That's like, right. Like exploitation does not equal work. Work equals work. You're doing work. You're putting the work in. But in today's society, people would be like, oh, you yeah. do a pat- podcast? Oh, how much well, that's a hobby. Yeah, yeah, well, or- because the world is fucked, yeah. But we're working on that. It's upside down, for sure. That, that's what Total Masker's here for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's right. I, I think people's um, acceptance with the life that they live today in, like, this society, in a society standpoint, is... People don't pay it much mind unless they're, you know, leftist minded, you know, mm-hmm. if they do like they don't think about it that much. But people seem to want to be complicit. And that's what kind of hurts me, you know. You know, I mean, like, I mean, it's hard because because I don't want to fault people for mm-hmm kind of having the wrong idea because we're we've all we've all been like friggin brainwashed since friggin birth you know to yeah. think that like the world we inhabit is okay and that like we ought to accept it as what it is and that like there isn't an alternative but like you know there is we just like have never been kind of a shown it right so like i so it's always a trick to try to walk that line of like you know, meeting people sort of like fucking sort of like fucking where like where fucking like where fucking like they're at, you know. But uh, which is hard, you know. Like, like if it was easy, we would have worked out uh, the proper way of like you turning fucking Trumpers into like you know normal people, right? And we haven't because it's a hard thing to do. But like, but it has got to be fucking possible because because because. Uh, Otherwise, like, like, why bother? You know, like, we would just like, you know, give up, right? Yeah. You know, and so and the world is fucked like, there's got to be hope out there, fucking out somewhere. Like, the world is fucked up as it is, and it it is hard to accept that. But I mean, there mm-hmm. are good things in the world, like you know, absolutely, like love, Oof. happiness, friendship, yeah, um, like just camaraderie in general, like. It's it's a beautiful thing to see people want to work together and it know, is it is absolutely and like seeing that it, it makes me kind of excited to go on the world but knowing like my social ineptitudes yeah <laughs> it makes me like ten times more anxious and nervous to even yeah. try to connect to people can I uh, can I be a brutally honest with yeah, you Siren go go for it. I find it highly unlikely that you're any more as socially inept than me, and I front a fucking band. So, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you know, like you put your mind to it, 
you know, amazing things are possible. I just want to, like, if I'm going to give one positive thing, it's fucking that. It's like, and, and, and those don't come from me often or fucking like easily. So, so I mean it when I say it, like, uh, you heard it here, folks. Like you can do it. Captain No Fun is being honest. fun for once. I, I'm gonna be fun. <laughs> it's, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> the other part of this is that it's gonna be hard as hell. Okay, I want to let. I want to let you there too. It, it it's gonna hard. be fucking tough, but it is doable. I'm telling you, yeah. it's doable. It it is doable, and I mean the hardest part is accepting that it's doable like after yeah. like my years of social it's easy to give up after it's hard to, to work at it but but it's worth it it is accepting things in general is pretty hard yeah and well i mean i think the does, thing that if it's something oh, if it's something like good you know you can definitely accept yeah. it pretty easily yeah, I mean, yeah, like, like, like the thing I want to say too is I think one of the things about like, you know, the concept um, of acceptance is like, you know, part of what makes it hard is like you know, knowing what you should accept and what you should say. No, fuck no, I don't accept that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fight that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with, with like, like something better, you know. Yeah. And so it's a, uh, you know, you know, so it's a challenge for like you there uh, too, but. I mean, that's what life is made up of, right? Is like working out those things as we go. You know, it's a process. It's a, mm-hmm. you know, it's, you know, it's like it's an ongoing. It's an ongoing progress. Yeah. Trademark. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like, life is an ongoing process, and I mean, I do agree with that. And I agree with your statement, like, full heartedly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It can be a challenge differentiating the things that need to be accepted and shouldn't be accepted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we don't always agree with what those things are with other people. Yeah, you know? definitely yeah. not. That's, especially that's, with that's, like, that's what makes numbers. it tricky, right? Yeah. Well, but but even then, like you know, the left has you know, left has its fucking left has its fucking share of that at too, you know. Yeah. And it's you know like you know like. And it's, you know, like it's always is fucking going to be hard and all we can do is our best. The thing that I accept, like the, the big thing that has been difficult for me to accept, but I have been working on is that like at the end of the day, all I can do is my best and it's going to be what it's going to be. And I'm going to keep on fucking trying to do what I think is right. And there are going to be people who agree with it. And there's going to be people who don't. And at the end of the day, like, look, it is what it is, you know, and we'll just have to navigate it. However, we all fucking like can navigate it. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, like whatever I accomplish in this fucking, like in this, fucking, like, you know, like in this, like a silly ass fucking band of ours. Right. Uh, probably like, you know, like the meaningful fucking, like, you know, the meaningful of like, you know, the results of it, uh, I will probably like, you know, never see. And that's okay. Cause like, it isn't about me anyway. Right. Like the work isn't about me. It's about it, like, it's about everybody, you know? And that's the, and, you know, like, you know, you know, again, again, it's hard, you know, shit's hard. Uh, but you know, I, <laughs> you know, like at a certain point, like accepting that it isn't about me, you know, has been super, super like fucking helpful to me as I kind of like, as I like, as I like, you know, like fucking like, as I approach, you know, the work I do and, you know, the way I live, you know, yeah. honestly, it, it takes a lot of introspection to realize like not everything is like about me, you know, like, yeah. like, mm-hmm. the, like, you know, like I met some people and they have like a very serious case of like main character syndrome, you know? <laughs> yeah, that can be rough. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Like, I mean, Man, in a way, everybody, <laughs> everybody is the main character of their own life. But in the grand scale of the world or even the universe, they're just one part of a bigger story. 
I've got to remember that main character syndrome. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I'm or yeah. God complex. Every, every, <laughs> everyone's a fucking extra, and they think they're the main character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> main character syndrome ought to go in our fucking uh, song title left oh yes. my god yes. that in the, okay in the, got it from me folks <laughs> yeah absolutely you'll get the credit don't worry oh, that would be <laughs> awesome <laughs> look it isn't a huge compliment because we have a folder that is all of our song titles it's like a bajillion titles long I don't know that we're going to use it. I'm just saying it's going in the folder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't have to use it. I could see that. Be nice I could see that getting used, though. For sure. <laughs> That's true. I could, it, it, like, you know, I could also write that, you know, next week. The brain is a is a wild, wonderful thing. You know? I never know what I'm going to get. I One day, I'm going to turn on, like, YouTube and, like, see a new Toe Masker song, and it's going to sound nothing like your other songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the same main character syndrome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't think that we could make something sound like not our sound. I don't think we're. I don't think we're capable. Well, I mean, like the thing is that like we are capable of it because we're into a lot of weird shit. But like, but I just can't imagine us like you know getting into a room and wanting to play something other than what we want to yeah, play. Am I definitely. like, like you know, do like um you know like you know like um, you know, like Jeff, you know, like I do agree with that. I do accept that, that I, I do. premise. I do. I think that's kind of how it is. Because we have some weird ass tastes in this band. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> as have far certain, as what we we're into. A, we do have a certain chemistry, though, that um, it just, it, it outputs what we do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it works. For whatever the reason, it works. It is, it is like the easiest fucking band I've ever been in. That's been easy yet to accept is how fucking rad this band is. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, that is pretty easy. <laughs> if I can make it about us for just one second. <laughs> yeah. That's been so much fucking fun. I mean, you guys basically played on like the big like main stage of like punk rock bowling. So that was pretty impressive. Yeah. It's, that was still a trip. <laughs> yeah. It's hard when you peak so early, but hey, you know what? Whatever. I'll, I'll take it. It was, uh, that was so much fucking fun. That was a great day. I yeah, still got that set list. Oh, that. fuck yeah. yeah oh, it's, awesome. It's you have that set list? Wall. Yeah, I still have that fuck set yeah. list. Fuck yeah. That rules. I'm so glad that you wound up with it. I have no like recollection of that you, shit you, at you, all. You, like, you, it was you, like such a head rush. You literally on stage, you went up and to me and handed it to me. That was fucking Oh, awesome. that's killer. I, I mean, yeah. I like, like, I apologize that I have no memory of that, but like the no, adrenaline so going and shit <laughs> completely wiped from my memory that whole thing. You had a big day. The only thing I remember is that we that we completely fucked up one song, but I don't think anybody noticed. So, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally my only only hey, recollection hey, that it was fun what, as hell. What is music without a little bit of fuck up sometimes? You know. Absolutely, absolutely. That's. I mean, you know, because otherwise, I'm, like, might as well fucking like you know, have like a computer player, right? As long as it doesn't derail the train, it's all good. <laughs> I, I, think, I like I think that derail. I, I think I yeah. heard something like I think it was like no effects who said this, but like. I think uh, they sometimes they like mess up on purpose or something. Like they find it like funny. I mean, I mean, but Jeff knows Fat Mike a lot, a lot fucking better. Than he was if I ever heard. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they fuck up on purpose, but they do <laughs> purposely have fun with it. You know, like if Melvin fucks up, they'll they'll call him out on stage in front of everybody, and it's yeah. It's just part of their demeanor, and it's just it's yeah. so endearing. I just love that about them, actually. Like I, I wouldn't totally. mind, like, yeah, uh, like I wouldn't mind getting made fun of by Fat Mike. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> that would be an honor. Well, to be honest, Jeff is someone. Jeff is someone who's been made fun of by Fat Mike. How do you feel? How do you? Do you <laughs> yeah. How do you that? feel? Do you accept yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, just, like he made fun of me to my face and <laughs> getting in song and, and then immortalized it on a on a great record. <laughs> And uh, he said and you wear yeah, Birkenstocks, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> he says I stink, and you know whatever. But it's all good. <laughs> you know, whatever. It's, it's, hepatitis, I mean, hepatitis bathtub, a hundred percent. Like <laughs> the first page of that book is the best thing I've ever read. It's disturbing, huh? That book is disturbing. <laughs> it's disturbing. I mean, I don't remember I, what's I on the first page. You have to remind me. Um, 
his story about getting pissed on <laughs> on a fire oh. escape or something. <laughs> Jesus. Very descriptive. Yeah. yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. That that book is just oh my there's so many disturbing parts in that book. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean like not that not that I want this to be a, a full on like an advertisement for hepatitis bathtub, but it is yeah, a good book. It is. <laughs> I, I like how they kind of go into their lives and stuff. I mean, it kind of is like um, an autobiography in a way. It, I mean, it is told. Uh, it is told pretty well by everybody that is involved in the book, and I do like the audio book because they got Tommy uh, Tommy Chong in. So. Oh, do they really? Yeah. That's dope. I need to check out the audio book. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, but um, ending the topic of acceptance, do you guys have anything to say? To people um, unwilling to accept things or whatnot? <laughs> um, uh, trying to think of the right way to phrase it. I can accept that Mike making fun of the bassist in my band <laughs> because we're better. I said it. I don't give a shit. Oh, you calling out oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. I'm going to start a, I'm gonna start a yeah, feud right now. You oh my God. Part. This will get that po- this podcast so much traction. Get your podcast and <laughs> fucking traction. Here you go, Siren. You're welcome. Yeah, there I, you go. That's it. Thank That's you. all I got. <laughs> I, am, I am honored. <laughs> I just tell the truth. Man. Fired across the bow. Fuck yeah, it has. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna say this to people: um, accepting things can be hard sometimes, but if you put in the work and energy to do something and work for something, it makes um your personal life experience um like five times better, you know. Thank you oh, for yeah, saying that. You know, that because you know what, Siren, I I think a lot of people think that. If something's not being accepted by someone, then that's it. It's just a closed door. And a lot of times it is. But, you know, um, sometimes, like my parents, for example, you know, they, they don't understand what my daughter's going through and and all that. But, um, um, I mean, to, to an extent, I don't either. But um, But at least they are willing to put in the work. You know, they're reading books and they're listening to podcasts and they're doing all kinds of things to open up their minds and to try to find a way to uh, open their hearts. And, yeah. and that's one of the best things that, that came out of that conversation I had with them last week. Being willing to change mm-hmm. is one mm-hmm. of the best things you could, you could do or be is being a person um, accepting to changes. Uh, that are personal in your life, you know? Like, totally. Totally. You always, because like not everything that you know is going to be um, true right off the bat. I mean, you, you have to, you have to really put an in introspection on your beliefs or even yourself to understand like that not everything you believe in is true, you know? Like, mm-hmm. You always got to be willing to change and accept new things. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, and you know, I think that, I think that the people who um, lean on science have a lot easier time with that notion because that's what science is: is like a new a new discovery reveals new things, right? Yeah. Whereas if you if you are totally leaning on religion to prop you up and to make you happy and to save your soul and all that bullshit. Um, well, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> New revelations don't necessarily see the light of day or change your opinion. In fact, it does the opposite. It makes you repel them a lot of times. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just to just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just like noting. Yeah, you know. I mean, I just think the the people who tend to be open and and accept things and willing to change and things like that tend to. Maybe I'm wrong, but they tend to be the less religious people yeah. in the world. Well, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, 
like, I mean, I, you know, you always want to be aware that correlation doesn't equal a causation, right? But absolutely, there's a correlation between people who fucking like want an answer that will never change and people who are religious. I just, it's, I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Aaron said something on the likes to me um, in the last episode that uh, I did. And he's absolutely right on that notion. You know, and, you know, I want to say that isn't a slide against our buddy, fucking our father from Fury, you know, who is, who is a, who is, uh, you know, you know, probably, you know, probably, you know, probably who's a preacher and it's a leftist <laughs> because I think he gets it. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, to me, I think like, you know, like, probably, you know, that's a fair assessment at Jeff. Like, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, there's a thing there, right? For, like for the people that like want an easy answer, right? Uh, like, yeah. I mean, like, what else is it? You know? Or they think they found the answer. Yeah, and, and that's and they they don't need to go searching anymore. The answer yeah. is never found until the end. <laughs> Ooh, I read that from a fortune cookie. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure there's like a bad religion song or seven about that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the Fortune's answer. Funny. Well, well, there literally is one song called. The I know, I, I know, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's like. That's what's like. Kind of currently, like, kind of playing in my head now. Thanks. For this little little detour. You're welcome. It's a great song. It is. It is good. <laughs> it is very good for like a mid tempo bad religion song, which are not my favorite usually, but that one's pretty good. Yeah, it is a good one. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Um, Everybody, go check out I Told a Masker. Yeah. Everybody, go check out a Bad Religion. Everybody, check out uh, No Effects, <laughs> even though uh, we are technically better. <laughs> Still, go check out Don't Fight. Um, you know, yeah. I, I mean, like, uh, we have a show coming up now oh, next yeah. month. If you're in fucking Long Beach, California, what day? and you're hearing this, and where? November twelfth at Alex's Bar with our good buddies. Uh, take warning, who are the best, as far as I know, only. But I'm going to say the best Operation IV at cover band. You know that's out there. Um, yeah, it's great. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun. That's, I think, all we have, you know, to promote, yeah, right, um, Jeff? Check I'm out the thinking. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know. Yeah, we're people, everywhere. We're on all the socials, know, all the streams. Band shit. Jam, Spotify. Yeah. Although, Jim, Jim, we haven't even promoted that yet, have we? This is um, kind I of did. Thing. I mean, like, I tossed it up on the Facebook, but I don't know if people give it. Actually, no, like, there's a lot of people who seem to have stoked about it on Facebook, but. Okay, good. Anyway, uh. But that's a good reminder to promote it more. I've been bad about Facebook lately. It just fucking it depresses me every time I go it's on there. So I've been <laughs> avoiding it like the plague. But uh, yeah, I should probably get back to promoting our fucking band now that we have shows and stuff. I should accept that posting shit on Facebook is part of the work I've got to do to be in the best fucking band around. And that's okay. It's a necessary evil. A necessary evil. Any Fuck Jeff Zuckerberg. <laughs> Fuck Facebook. But I gotta tell people about this great show we have, so I'll, I'll be on there. Did you say Jeff Zuckerberg? <laughs> he just makes up two worst people on the planet. What's his name? <laughs> Mark oh, Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like I was thinking Jeff Bezos. Yeah, well, well. Yeah, you Fuck know Jeff Mark Bezos. Bezos. Mark Bezos. <laughs> Fuck Mark Bezos and Jeff Zuckerberg. That's how much I care about those fuckers. Anybody Fuck. have any departing words of wisdom? Yeah, fuck those two made-up individuals I just mentioned. <laughs> fuck them really bad. They're terrible. <laughs> no, this was a lot of fun, Siren. Thanks a lot for having us uh, twice. Just cool. I don't, you know, this is fun. We're going to solve this. It's going to be a great podcast. I'm stoked. This was a lot of fun. I think my final words of wisdom are... Um, Stand up and be yourself and be proud of who you are. Fuck, fuck them if they don't get it. Be willing Hell to yeah. accept new things. Be willing to have lots of introspection on yourself. And mm-hmm. most of all, try to smile a bit more. That works.